Hi everyone. So um, yeah, my hair have changed a little bit, not too much. Uh, I was a model for an exam for a um, hairdresser at the place where I go get my hair cut, and there, there I am with um, red hair. <laughs> so yeah, uh, today's painting is going to be with red and green, and I thought. I would try to do a painting only with drips, like uh, the kind of a drip wormhole that I did a couple times before. But I want to make a painting only with this, so I'm going to go and swirl the drip, well, one drip at a time and go outwards like that and see what the result is. <laughs> and I'm not sure, I've never done this before, so uh we'll see what it looks like and if it's cool maybe i'll do it again with other colors and today i mix my paints um just a little bit thicker just a little less water than usual so for the heavy body paint it's about 50 50 paint medium and then 20 percent water um 20% for this one, 15 for the other one, because uh, this one was thicker to start with, the red. Uh, it's Liquitex Basics. Uh, it's quite thick. And I had used two soft body paints. Um, fluorescent red is a rest that I had that I found, so I used it to contrast with the green. And medium magenta which is a pigment mix and is a soft body acrylic. I used about 5% uh, water in both. And yeah, um, I'm going to zoom you in and get started with this. I think it's going to look uh, pretty cool. All right, so I have a cup here that I can use to drip, but I'm not going to put all of the paint I have right away. I'm going to put a little bit so one it's easier to drip and two I feel like I'll get more details that way Here we go.
All right. Other cool thing about putting just a little bit at the time is it also lets my arm rest. It will also allow um, a variation of colors throughout the canvas. Like a bunch of swirls. Oops. It got pieced back up together or something. I think it's going to look quite interesting. I'm going to try and make it arm stand or something with upside down pots. And the tricky part is to find just the middle so you do not swirl the paint but really drip it. All right, one more break for me, for my arm. My arm can't take it. I have to admit that I quite like the ribbony like too. Uh, yeah, ribbony lines. All right, let's do this. Let's finish this. My arm is getting really tired. 
but I'm almost done. I dipped my glass in it. I'm so sad. It was so cool in the middle. My arm is getting so tired though. I did it again. All right, so I will give you a time lapse while I complete uh, the sides, just cover them up and while it moves. All right, so this is really cool. <laughs> it took a while to do, um, and my arm, oh gosh, um, it was hurting at the end. But the result pretty much worked it. I'm pretty sad that I dipped my cup in those two places there, but Yes, my arm was getting too tired and couldn't handle it anymore, <laughs> and I dipped. And no, I did not ruin it, but it would have been better without those two dips. But uh, it's still really nice and really three-dimensional, really... Uh, it's full of details and I love it, and I think this will look crazy under a black light and I think I have to do this again and I am thinking um, into the alcohol uh, denatured alcohol experiment for the density what if I add alcohol in only one of the colors that I do the drips with and not in the rest maybe that one color will tend to float more and create uh, other cool effects. Uh, so I think I'm going to try that. And for now, I think this is it for this painting. And I'm happy painter. Really love all the details. Love these here, the little thingy with the drips stretched. Uh, going towards the edges. Uh, well, I actually like the outwards movement too. Uh, pretty happy with this and I have to try this again and maybe with a fluider uh, paint so they really drip instead of really uh, of a stringy mix like I had. Uh, more liquid paint maybe. I wanted to keep them thicker because I wanted to keep the details and that worked but it was also really hard to drip. I swirled in the places a lot, did those ribbons too because it was easier and my arm was getting tired and uh, I have to admit the effect of the ribbon is pretty pretty nice. I quite like it. 
so maybe in a painting with ribbons too just ribbons um yeah bunch of ideas and probably a lot more to come all right so really cool stuff really happy with it I, I think it looks really cool uh, the contrast between the green and the pink uh, well the green and the red and the magenta medium magenta which is quite pink um, is lovely and uh, it just makes me want to try this uh, again and I probably will uh, with different um, twists and like try it again but differently like with uh, like I mentioned alcohol in one color or uh, a f more fluid mix or just ribbons uh, but this one I quite like and I can't wait to see what uh, <laughs> what will happen next I, I'll have to think a little bit about it but uh, I think I have ideas <laughs> so um, yeah thank you guys uh, for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up it helps me out and yeah I hope you have a great day make sure to subscribe for more and I will see you in the next video bye